I'm sure that the, the family, it's been one hell of a year for all of them, hasn't it? But I think that, you know, when I spoke to Hannah, I just said, just understand the impact. I know you do. I said, but understand the scale of the impact. I said, when this news breaks, you know, it was about an hour later that they put the statement out, you will be astonished about the global reaction mm. to your dad's death. And very few people ever get the kind of reaction that Captain Tom's death has got today. The front page of every national newspaper, the President of the United States paying tribute, the Queen of this country paying tribute, the Prime Minister, sports stars, celebrities, the public in their droves. I mean, so many messages here. Uh, Cheryl Lee on Twitter, a true gentleman. Superheroes don't always wear capes. <laughs> they sometimes use a walking frame and raise lots of money for their beloved NHS. Big Dave on Twitter. God bless you, Sir Tom. You were a bright light in a dark year. Rest in peace. Uh, Samuel on Twitter. Who else would be able to emulate what this man did in his final year? What an amazing man. His name will go down in history. And isn't that the point? You know, when we've had this debate about coronavirus, the number of people who say, well, hang on, you know, the, the average age of people dying is 82. So why are we all having to you know, lock down and protect everybody when they would have died anyway? Captain Tom was 100, and his greatest year of impact on this planet came when he was 99. He did more 17... in the last year of his life oh, than 17... most of us could hope to achieve yeah. in an entire lifetime. 17 years after the average age of death from coronavirus, this man raised £39 million. So to all of you out there who just think, you know what, it only kills the old, think about that in the light of Captain Tom and what he achieved in his last year and what he gave his country and what so many people in their 80s and 90s mm -hmm. in this country have given their country because many of them will have served in the Second World War. Yeah, he wore either... those medals with such pride, didn't and, he? And many do. And these are the people that we should be protecting most, the elderly and the vulnerable that have given so much for us all. So let's not hear any more of, well, the average age is 82, you know. Like, who cares? I care. You mm. should care. I think most decent people should care. Um, you asked him in your Life Stories interview what he's learned about life in that century. Mm. Let's have a listen. Yeah, it's, it, it was because oh, he was well approaching... Happened. He was... A, a, yeah, he turned 100, what it was last... Uh, oh, we've got it here. We've got it. What did it really mean, being 100? I'm no different to what when I was 99. I mean, or when I was 50, really. The past look a bit older, a bit, a bit worse for wear. <laughs> and, uh, but inside, I haven't changed. I mean, inside, I'm just the same. Are you going to keep going, Tom? Do you got, you've got plans, ambitions? I've got to get my leg working better so I can <clears throat> travel a bit more, um, maybe get my car back and start driving the car again. You're going to keep driving? Yes. Are you going to try and keep to the speed limit? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he wanted to travel. He had a bucket list, one of which was to go to the Caribbean which his family managed to do uh, perfectly legally. British Airways put on a trip for them. They went before the new lockdowns came in and they had a wonderful family trip. And Hannah said it was really a special time for all of them. And Captain Tom ticked off Barbados from mm. his bucket list. And I just want to say again... And an important we family memory. This, well, we discussed this yesterday about the trolls mm. who'd been mocking and abusing Captain Tom and his family before and after he died. It was still carried on yesterday for that trip that they took. You know, Hannah told me about how it just, it hurt them. It hurt them at a time when they were... At their most vulnerable, actually. At their darkest moment <laughs> with their dad, their granddad, you just added a little bit more despair and misery and hurt onto what they were suffering as a family. And I hope you can live with yourselves. I really do, because it was despicable. And the very worst of this country is some of the stuff I read on Twitter and social media mm. in the last few days. And well, number just about 10, Captain Downing Tom. Street had to come out and condemn well, it. Well, the Prime Minister well. rightly condemned it because we've got to do something about this. We have to do something about this. The idea that people think it's OK to abuse the likes of Captain Tom and his family after they raised £39 million for this country, the NHS, 
if they think they can abuse Marcus Rashford and the black footballers, that they think they can do this with impunity and not have to suffer any consequences for it. And never think about the misery that they inflict on their targets. Well, I can tell you, you inflicted it on the Moore family. In their, in their darkest moment, you just... You really did make it worse, and I, I think that is despicable. Let's and not allow just... room for trolls, though, this morning. No, that's not, that's not. But let's the not let them also get away tribute. with this kind of behaviour, and let's just be better as a country, mm. and let's not do this. You know, the rest of this programme, we won't mention these idiots, but we should recognise the impact that those words can have on families when they are losing a loved one as great as Captain Tom. Yeah. And I think that they should think about what they did. In they the should words, be better than that. In the words of Captain Stonmore, rather than the trolls, he said, I think that you really have to look forward to things being better. I've always said tomorrow is a good day all my life. I've been an optimistic person. I think if you've had a bad day or two, things will certainly get better. And in my life, they always have.